today, the world honors a giant of our time, a leader of unparalleled courage and towering achievement, and a man of quiet dignity and deep humanity. Nelson Mandela was a healer of communities and a mentor to generations. He remains a moral compass and reference to us all. Madiba walked the path to freedom and dignity with steely determination and with compassion and love. He showed that each and every one of us has the ability and the responsibility to build a better future for all. Our world today is marred by war, overwhelmed by emergencies, blighted by racism, discrimination, poverty and inequalities, and threatened by climate disaster. Let us find hope in Nelson Mandela's example and inspiration in his vision. Today and every day, let us honor Nelson Mandela's legacy by taking action, by speaking out against hate and standing up for human rights, by embracing our common humanity, rich in diversity, equal in dignity, united in solidarity, and by together making our world more just, compassionate, prosperous and sustainable for all. His Excellency, Mr. Antonio Guterres, UN Secretary General, Ms. Melissa Fleming, Under Secretary General for the UN Global Communications, Ms. Brenda Gongova, President of the United Nations Chamber Music Society, distinguished guests and featuring artists, ladies and gentlemen. I'm truly honored to once again deliver the welcome remarks for the concert in celebration of the 2022 edition of the International Nelson Mandela Day, ably organized by the United Nations Chamber Music Society. One of the most prolific music composers to have ever lived, Mozart, once remarked that, if only the whole world could feel the power of harmony. Being the musical genius that he was, Mozart understood the vital importance that harmony plays towards ensuring that individual musical voices group together, resulting in a coordinated quality musical product. It is our view that harmony can play an equally important role in ensuring that the international community acts with the same purpose of an orchestra in confronting common global challenges, such as the rise in poverty and inequality escalating intolerance and racial discrimination, the climate crisis, energy and food insecurity, the COVID-19 pandemic, new and ongoing conflicts, and the ungoverned development of new technologies, amongst others. Nelson Mandela, whose great life and contributions we are celebrating today, understood that collective effort is a vital factor in any struggle against gigantic challenges such as apartheid during his time. Central in forging the collective spirit is the recognition that we are people because of other people, as envisaged in the African philosophy of Ubuntu. It thus follows that in order to have harmony within the international community, the people of the world should treat themselves as members of the same group, including seeing other people struggle as their own. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, we take this opportunity to once again express our sincere gratitude to the organizers of this August concert and have no doubt that it'll do justice to the memory of our beloved President Nelson Mandela, who once said he was most at peace when he listened and danced to music. I wish this event all the success and thank you for your kind attention. Hello. I'm Professor Tule Madonsela, holding a chair in social justice research at Stanford University. I'm exceptionally honored to participate in the Nelson Mandela Day concert. 
Mandela would have been 104 years this July. He was one of those momentous leaders who understood that a grain of sand can tilt the scales. And he actually did tilt the scales. Because of him and his contemporaries, we have one of the best constitutions in the world. We have a constitution that audaciously grounds our democracy on social justice and fundamental human rights for all. So if we think about what we inherited from Nelson Mandela, he and his counterparts gave us a very progressive constitution. And he did say that the constitution was a key for us to begin to develop our democracy to give a better life to all. It was not the end on its own. The baton is now firmly in our hands. When we look back, as he did at the end of his life, we have to ask ourselves, the mountain he climbed, the final one was a constitution and many laws, including the Equality Act. What will we leave behind? And one of the things that is in our hands is making sure that everyone is freed from freedom from want. And everyone has their potential fully freed as the Constitution promises. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the concert. Greetings. My name is Brenda Vongova, founder of the UN Chamber Music Society. It is an honor to welcome you to the UN Chamber Music Society's annual concerts in celebration of Nelson Mandela International Day. I would like to thank Her Excellency Madhu Joini, Ambassador and Permanent Representative of South Africa to the United Nations, for her inspiring opening statement. And I would also like to thank Professor Thuli Madonsela, Law Trust Chair in Social Justice of Stellenbosch University, also founder of the Thuma Foundation and former public protector of the Republic of South Africa. Professor Madonsela was one of the experts that assisted the drafting of the Constitution of South Africa promulgated by Nelson Mandela. On today's date, the birthday of Nelson Mandela, may we reflect upon the contribution of this great leader to our world. Mandela is our hero because he embodies the hopes and dreams of true equality and justice for all people. With his unwavering commitment to fighting for freedom, justice, peace, and human rights, he provided the world with a moral compass. Many thanks to our members and supporters of the UN Chamber Music Society who helped to make this concert possible. The music repertoire of the concert will honor the African heritage by featuring compositions by extraordinary black composers who changed the course of classical and pop music history, including Julian Marley, Pulitzer Prize winning composer George Walker, and Joseph Bellone, Chevalier de Saint Georges, informally known as the Black Mozart, and who is remembered as the first classical composer of African origins. The concert will also feature Baba Yetu, composed by two-time Grammy Award-winning composer Christopher Tin, arranged for the UN Chamber Music Society. The concert will be closed with the uplifting song Viva Mandela, written by Vusi Novas and sung by Onesimus. I hope that you will enjoy the concert.
when hardship came around, when our struggle was in town, you heard it down. Said you stood your ground and you made a vow to turn this thing around. Yeah. When they took a fraud, tried to tear it down, you laid us through the fire. Said you stood your ground and you made a vow to turn this thing Oh!